I remember when I was just another normal rat in the race that was completely destroying my life. And there were three specific habits that I gave up in order to change it and transform it, especially with the last one that I talk about. And the first one is having an ego. When you have a massive ego, you think that you're enough. You think that you've improved yourself to the point where you don't have to improve anymore. And when you think that you don't have to improve anymore, you won't. And the sad thing is a lot of people have massive egos. They have huge egos. So they think that they don't have to get any better because they think that they are already enough when they're not. But the good news for you and me is that those people slow down in the race because they think that they've won when they're really only halfway done with the race. But we're still sprinting towards the finish line. Because imagine two people. One of the guys thinks that he is enough. He thinks that he doesn't have to improve himself anymore because he thinks that he's so great. But the other guy is working insanely hard, but he still thinks that he has to improve himself insanely more. He thinks that he's not even halfway done with the race. Who do you think is going to improve more? Obviously the second guy, because he realizes he has so much more room for growth. And that's what you need to realize too. You need to realize that you have a lot of room for growth. We both have a lot of room for growth because we don't know everything. But instead of doing nothing about it, instead of just accepting that we don't know everything and not doing anything, we realize that we don't know everything. We realize that we don't have enough knowledge that we want to have. And we go out there and seek that knowledge because the person who seeks knowledge and wisdom diligently will find it. But I do want to say you have to have a little bit of an ego because you have to think that you do have importance. You have to think that you are meant for more. So what I want you to do is embrace humility. Be humble. Realize that you don't know everything, but again, go out there and seek it. Go out there and seek improving yourself because you have room for improvement. Act like you're a white belt almost everywhere you go. Act like you have no stripes on your belt. You just have a beginner's mind because when you have a beginner's mind, you can just sit down places listen to what other people are saying, and you can learn significantly more. Otherwise, if you think that you're all that, you think that you know everything, and you just start talking and ranting about a bunch of things, you won't learn. Because you don't learn while you're talking. You learn by listening to what other people have to say. And another thing is, you have to acknowledge that you will make mistakes, but you have to learn from those mistakes. This is something that I talk about all of the time. Because the thing is, if you don't learn from your mistakes, you won't go anywhere. If you have a mistake or if you have a failure or a setback or anything like that, and you don't use it as a learning opportunity, that's when it becomes just a waste of time. And that's when it actually is a bad thing. But if mistakes, setbacks, failures, and all of these things come your way and you treat them all as learning opportunities, then they're really just boosts towards your purpose. And another thing is negative thinking. I'm not gonna tell you wishy-washy things and to go make out with yourself in the mirror, but you do need to stop your negative thinking because we already are going to have enough doubt in the world. There are already gonna be a ton of people who are gonna doubt us and don't want us to succeed. While we're trying to climb the mountain and reach the peak, there are gonna be other people who are staying down low and staying weak, who are trying to grab us by the feet and drag us back down with them. So when you start doubting yourself and you have a bunch of negative thinking, it's just more weight that is carrying you down to the bottom of the mountain and making it harder to climb to the top. And the thing is, if you don't think that you are worthy of achieving something, you are not going to achieve it because we are pretty much just representations of our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. And if those don't change, you won't change. So you need to change your beliefs, even if it might be hard. If you think it's hard to believe in yourself, you still have to try. And the thing is too, you might get uncomfortable trying to change those beliefs because you're not used to the kind of beliefs that you want to have. But the thing is you have to keep on pushing in that direction until you have the beliefs. Because again, not many other people will believe in you. I believe in you. I 100% believe in you. I believe that you can do anything that you want to do. But the thing is, you need to believe in yourself. And the thing is, if you don't believe in yourself, you most likely will never make it to the top. Because the thing is, deep down, you think that you can't make it. And again, if you think that you can't make it, if you think that you're unworthy of making it, you most likely won't. And the thing is, so many things in our life has programmed us to be weak. From society, to the school systems, to a bunch of other things in our life. We are programmed to be weak. So you're literally going against the programming, which is going to be hard. It's going to get uncomfortable. But the thing is, it's necessary. Because you can either live a comfortable life of weakness, or you can live an uncomfortable life of greatness. The choice is yours. But if you choose the uncomfortable life of greatness, be prepared for problems. 
But what I want you to do, the type of mindset that I want you to have when those problems come is not focusing on the problems. Instead, you want to focus on the solutions because problems will come regardless of if you want them to or not. So when you just focus on the problem, it's not going to do anything because those problems aren't going to go anywhere unless you find out a solution to fix those problems. So focus on the solutions instead of the problems so you can fix the problems. And a huge question that I love asking, it's one of my favorite questions to ask, is why. If a problem comes your way, you always ask why that problem is happening. That way you can figure out the root of the problem and then you can fix it. But the thing is, most people don't ask why. They have all of these struggles in their life and they don't ask why and then they just accept them. They accept those struggles as a part of their life instead of asking why and figuring out how to fix them. So instead, we are going to ask why and we're actually going to fix those problems and we are going to get ahead in this race. And what I want you to do in order to change your negative thoughts is by first of all, imagining that you are a fighter. You're going into the cage and there's a UFC fighter in the other corner. He's staring you down. You have a little bit of fear. You're shaking a little bit. But the thing is, you're gonna have to fight this guy. And then on top of that, you're also blindfolded and you still have to fight that guy. What do you think is gonna happen? He's most likely going to clobber you. And that's what it's like when you aren't aware of your thoughts. So what I want you to do is start meditating. You don't have to meditate a lot. You can meditate just for a few minutes a day. But what happens when you meditate is you become aware of your thoughts. That blindfold gets taken off of you and you are more prepared to fight because you can't change what you aren't aware of. So first become aware of your thoughts and then you can work to change them. And another thing that you need to do to change your thoughts is you need to be around positive things instead of just surrounding yourself with negativity. And the thing is, in this world, there is a lot of negativity. So you need to have a group of people, which is this group right here. This group, this community, because we are a community and you are a part of a community, we are all here to help you. And on top of that, another thing that you can do to get rid of your negativity is practicing gratitude. There's a lot to be thankful for in life. And think about it this way too. Imagine someone who's thankful for a ton of things in life and he enjoys this journey, he enjoys life, versus someone who feels like he's just walking through quick sand feels like he has a big burden and weight pulling him back. Who do you think is going to win? The guy who enjoys the journey or the guy who feels like he's walking through quicksand, who feels like he's just walking slow but is still walking even though he doesn't want to walk. Obviously the other guy because there's a quote that I really like which is the person who loves walking always walks further than the guy who loves the destination. So practice gratitude and enjoy the journey. And another thing is video games. People waste so much of their masculine energy playing video games and watching football, American football. And when they waste it on these meaningless things, then it doesn't actually come out for the things that matter. And another thing that it wastes is your time. And your time is one of the most valuable things. And think about it, we all have the same amount of hours in the day. Jeff Bezos has 24 hours, I have 24 hours, you have 24 hours. We all have 24 hours in a day. So depending on how you use those 24 hours will dictate the outcome of your life. So you need to choose to use them as wisely as you possibly can. You need to work to make every microsecond count. But there is this one game that I personally really like and that I think will be really beneficial. You can pretty much have the body that you want to. You can have the cars that you want to. You can have the life that you want to. You can have the career that you want to. The girl that you want to. And you can do pretty much anything you want to in that game. And you know what that game is? It's called life. <laughs> you can level up in real life instead of just a video game. You can become anybody you want to become. You can do anything you want to do. So instead of focusing on leveling up in a video game, instead of focusing on leveling up in a fake reality, you can level up in reality. And the thing is too, when you play a bunch of video games, you're just practicing instant gratification. But good things in life take time. They're not going to happen like that. So when you mess up your mind with instant gratification, you're going to be more impatient and you're going to be less likely to commit to the journey to actually get the outcome that you want to get. You'll just lose your patience and you'll end up giving up. But imagine the guy who does not practice instant gratification. He practices delayed gratification and he's patient. That guy is more likely to succeed because he's patient and he's willing to put in the work, the time, the energy, and the efforts to achieve what he wants to achieve. So what I want you to do is gradually decrease the amount of time that you play video games. 
only though, only if you're really addicted to video games. If you're not really addicted to video games, then you don't need to gradually decrease it. You can just quit them entirely. And there's this thing that you can use, it's this technique from Atomic Habits, this book right here, where basically it talks about friction. You put friction in between you and the thing that you're trying to quit. So for video games, friction would be like putting your console in the closet because that way it'll take more time to get it out of the closet, put it on your desk, plug it all in, and then turn on the PS4 controller and set it all up. And that's all friction. The more friction you have between you and the thing that you want to quit, the better because the less likely you'll want to do it. But another thing that you want to do, and if you don't do this, you're just gonna fall back into the addiction. You have to have hobbies and things that make your life more interesting. Because the thing is, if your life isn't interesting, you're not going to want to play the game of life. You're not going to want to play the game of life because the game of life is boring and it's not interesting. So you have to have hobbies. You have to have a purpose. You have to set goals for yourself. You have to do anything that you can to make it more interesting. Otherwise, again, you'll just fall back to the addiction of video games because there's nothing to play the game of life for. But you have to get through that uncomfortable stage. You have to push through it. And once you do quit video games, once you do make your life the video game, once you make your life interesting, you'll hardly even want to go back to a fake reality. And instead, you'll create your own reality. And I have no doubt in my mind that you can become great. And I'll be here to help you dominate weakness and achieve greatness. Keep working hard to make your future self proud. Click and watch this here, and I'll see you tomorrow.